Welcome to On the Agenda, a recap of some significant actions taken at the most recent City Council meeting on October 1st. The Mayor began the meeting by announcing the City has earned another top state honor, the 2012 Community Economic Development Award for cities with populations of 40,001 to 100,000. Missouri City worked with several local entities to bring the Niagara Bottling Company here. In making its decision, TEDC cited Missouri City's team effort in partnering with the Greater Houston Partnership, the Fort Bend Economic Development Council, Fort Bend County, Centerpoint Energy Economic Development Group, and Water Control and Improvement District No. 2 in successfully locating the second largest water bottling company in the United States in Premier Lakeview Business Park. The city has nominated the plant as an enterprise project as part of the Texas Enterprise Zone Program. Council members held a public hearing and approved an ordinance on the first of two readings on a request authorizing the city to participate in the Texas Enterprise Zone Program and nominating Niagara Bottling LLC to the Texas Economic Development Bank as an enterprise project. As part of the application, Niagara Bottling agrees to hire 25% of new employees who qualify as economically disadvantaged. Speaking of economic development, City Council heard a detailed presentation on the latest job creating companies that are locating here. Economic Development Coordinator Bob Graff presented members an update on recent business activity. We've had a lot of activity as you know especially in the two business parks that we have, the Lakeview Business Park and also um, the Beltway Business Crossing. And these have been key, as you know, to getting new businesses to take a look at Missouri City. Highlights of the report included Benny Keith plans to begin operations in the Beltway Crossing Business Park at the end of the first quarter of 2013. Twin Star Bakery is set to open its 226,000 square foot facility in Beltway Crossing in November and plans to initially hire 100 employees. Twin Star will make cookies and desserts that will be distributed across the United States. Stream Realty acquired and is building on land in Beltway for future operations. Fort Bend Brewing Company in the Gessner Road Commerce Park on South Gessner Road plans to open soon after receiving equipment from overseas. Southwest Electronics Energy, which makes lithium ion batteries, will move into a 56,000 square foot facility in Lakeview Business Park on Monday, October 8th. Warren Alloy and Allied Fittings are two companies that are currently in operation in Lakeview Business Park. Both companies manufacture valves and fittings. Bimbo Bakeries USA will operate in a 20,000 square foot building in Lakeview Business Park and will distribute numerous types of bakery products. In other action, Council postponed the appointment of a proposed bond steering committee indefinitely and explained that Council members have decided to defer a bond issue initially proposed for May 2013 to allow for more citizen input and further staff review. And many companies pay the city a fee for use of our roadways. Council members approved an ordinance on the first of two readings amending the solid waste ordinance and adopted a solid waste franchise fee of 5% of the gross receipts from the operations of residential and commercial solid waste collection providers. When implemented in February 2013, the franchise fee will generate an estimated $250,000. Almost 72% of city residences are on the city's municipal solid waste contract. Their service provider has agreed not to pass on this fee to residents. In addition to manufacturing facilities, the city continues to attract many other vital businesses that make the Show Me City a great place to live. As part of that continued addition to the city's economic base, council members held a public hearing and approved an ordinance on the first of two readings for a specific use permit to locate a technical and medical vocational school and retail space in Quail Valley Town Center at 2651 Cartwright Road. They also held a public hearing and approved an ordinance on the first of two readings to amend architectural and signage requirements for construction of a new restaurant, Raising Canes, that will be located adjacent to Lowe's on Murphy Road at Highway 6. The City Center at Quell Valley is now hosting special events and business meetings, and the former clubhouse and pro shop is set to be demolished. 
council members awarded a contract for the demolition for approximately $39,000. The work should be completed within 15 business days after the notice to proceed is given. Council members also approved several proclamations and one special recognition. They presented Director of Information Technology Kendall Litchfield with a clock on his retirement and thanked him for his 19 years of service to the city. Thank you very much to the City Council and to all the staff here that have supported me in my professional development. And I would like to say that if it weren't for you, I could not be where I'm at. Council members proclaimed the month of October as National Substance Abuse Prevention Month in Missouri City. The council also proclaimed the month of October as National Community Planning Month recognizing the opportunity for all residents to be meaningfully involved in making choices that determine the future of their community. And members proclaim the week of October 7th through October 13th as Fire Prevention Week. The theme for 2012 is Have Two Ways Out. When accepting the proclamation, firefighters wore pink shirts in recognition of October as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. In another fire safety nod, City Council authorized the purchase of a fire engine with a 750-gallon water tank for Fire Station No. 5 for approximately $609,000 through the Houston-Galveston Area Council Cooperative Purchasing Program. It will be delivered in August 2013 in order for the department to install firefighting equipment and conduct training prior to the new fire station opening. And that's what's on the agenda. The next regular council meeting will be held on Monday, October 15th. You can find a summary of Council Connection the following day under Council Action on the website homepage. <laughs>